some chess pride and welcome back to my Sims 4, the short legacy challenge. This is generation 4, episode 27, and it's a birthday episode. Not only is our Kelly aging into a young adult, but our next heir, Koi, is aging into a teenager. So I have him playing with his experimentation station one more time uh, this morning before he ages up. Um, I think we're going to have an early birthday to start right off with it. Um, let's see, let's do a check. All of them are keeping care of their needs. Brock, I do, well, I guess we should probably do the chores. It's just a random glass of milk. I guess we should do the chores before we throw a party. Oh, it is dark, gloomy day. Oh, no. Let's see, we probably need to clean the shed and then clean, feed. I'm not going to go super into it today, so we'll just um, milk her. It's fine. And Daisy, uh, she still has to eat. Okay. Well, we're not as ready as I thought we were. <laughs> um, but I do have everyone that's up to take care of their needs. So we can just harvest the garden today since we already have our skill up to level 10. We got a level 10 skill last episode. I see no point t into going major into harvesting or anything like that. Kai, it's not your birthday. So how about you clean up the birthday girl's uh, dish for her, huh? Yep, that's so nice of you. So nice. Hey, Brock is going to keep care of the cow. Fantastic. Kelly, what... Let's change you out of your pajamas. Let's not go ask your mom for advice. I don't feel like th dealing with that. Um, there's full food in her inventory, apparently. There sure is. Okay, let me drive that to the trash can. But I was going to change your outfit. So let's um, pick out your birthday outfit. Um, you know what? I think this dress is my favorite on you. So let's go ahead and change into this outfit. Brock got some fertilizer. Fantastic. We can sell that for $130. Thank you very much. Yeah, this dress is adorable on her. And Jackie is so pregnant. Oh my gosh. Look how pregnant she is in her little pajamas. Like, adorable. Adorable. Hey, okay, let's see. Koi, I would like to pick out a birthday outfit for you as well. So let's change your outfit. Let's get over oh, this one. Let's see. Stop experimenting and change your outfit, please. Your knees are good, right? Yeah, your knees are good. Stop. Stop. Yeah, okay, on that note, you need to stop. <laughs> oh, ja oh, yeah, Jackie's audition starts in an hour. We can't cancel that. Oh, well, Jackie's the newest family member of the family, so I don't really care if she's here or not for the party. Alright, well, look at, let's get one final picture of him as a kid. Because our kid is aging up into a teen. Oh my goodness. Okay, and you know, his favorite thing to do is play on the monkey bars. He needs to go do that one more time before he ages up. So let's go back here in the backyard and play a few times. Hopefully it doesn't get him stinky. I keep pressing the wrong thing. Play. Play. Okay. So we have that. See, you are harvesting. Rock, do you have the milk yet? You're milking her now. Fantastic. See, Jackie, are all your needs good for your audition? Because you just go that by yourself, so. Yeah, I think everything's good. Let's, um. She only has one outfit, so I can't really pick out an outfit for her to do do our audition in specifically but we do have some milk so it 
Let's sell this for $132. Fantastic. All right. Um, how's your needs, Brock? Everything looks good. Let's just do a final needs check. Oh, Daisy, did you never eat? Well, what, after you get done harvesting, I'll throw the party. And then you can eat after I throw the party. But everyone else needs to check. They're doing good. Doing good. Doing good. Doing good. Okay. Alright, so. Let's hurry up with this harvesting so we can throw a party. Because I think she's the only one that really knows everybody. So. That was that last time and she didn't know Jackie. So, you know. Does she know Jackie now? Actually, that's a good question. <laughs> oh, Jackie's going to her audition. It doesn't matter. Good luck, baby. Let's get a picture of her going to her audition. Super pregnant. Working that job. Uh, I think next episode will, will be when she gives birth. As well as her first uh, actual scene. But she has to go to the audition first. So let's hope she makes it. She has charisma skill level 2. Which was her only requirement. So. Oh good. She's almost in harvesting. Let's fast forward this. Let's see. Everyone else I told to take off school and work. If you're wondering why they weren't going to work or school. Because it's birthday day. So. It does not look like it's 10 o'clock. Good lord, it is dark. I wish you would hurry up with harvesting. And I think... I think... We, we harvested the most important stuff. I'm just going to go ahead and stop harvesting. Well, hold on. Actually, I want her to harvest this dragon fruit right quick. Because the dragon fruit sells for good money. Now, let's see if we can parse ourselves back over $100,000. Let's see. From what I picked so far, there's basically everything but the trees. Sure, you can like writing. You can like writing. Okay, uncheck these, and we get $7,293, which puts us at $100,000. Uh, $100, and two thousand one hundred and five fantastic all right so boys it is your or kids it is your birthday it's your birthday i don't know why all their stuff is getting canceled but i would like to throw a birthday party right so we have a birthday party yes Birthday Sim, uh, both Koi and Kelly. Yep. And guests are going to be our, our household, myself, Gage, Scully, and Ash. Because they don't really have, neither of them really have friends. So we're just inviting the fam. <laughs> um, well, maybe Christopher could be there for... Uh, Koi. He could be Koi's friend. Okay. And we don't need caterer because last time that glitched out and we don't have any of that. As every birthday party we've had, we're just going to have it at home. Uh, at least this generation. There's been other generations I've gone places, but... At this generation, we all our birthday parties have been at home. Okay, birthday party has started. That means, Daisy, you need to go cook a cake. We have plenty of food in our fridge, right? I think we just eat out of our fridge and it's not going to hurt us. Yeah, we have plenty of food. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay, so. It is, the big, the big birthday is going to be koi. And his color is pink. So I think we should do a strawberry cake. I think that would be best. 
just somewhere on here. Come on, strawberry cake. There it is. Fantastic. $22. That is good. Go cook that cake. And it kind of works out because uh, Kelly's red, or color is red. So, and that's the closest thing we have to a, a red cake is the pink cake. So, I guess that works. So, let's turn on some... Let's just go for easy listening today. People can jam out to some easy listening. Let's see, what are the birthday sims doing? They are out in the garden for some reason. <laughs> What's Brock doing? He's stressed. Oh no, he's sick! Feverish from illness. Okay, let's um... How long does it last? Three hours? I don't want to be in a bad mood all... All day. And he's about to be on our computer, isn't he? Well, never mind. Can't order this medicine. <laughs> uh, a missing toy. I was thinking about one of my favorite toys and I can't find it. I'm starting to miss it and feel sad. Play with a different toy. Because right now you're about to age into a teen. You will not care in a minute. Okay, it's pissed. Pissed. I guess her new uh, daughter, or it was a son. Whatever, her kids must have pissed her off. I don't know. She's going to kick over our trash can, isn't she? Why do Sims always do this? Why do the angry Sims always have to come and knock my trash can over? Uh, pick up. Throw away. No, I said pick up and then throw away. Come on. Oh my god, K, move. Just, just go away. Just, just go away. I just want to pick up our trash can and then throw our trash away. <sighs> Man, I hate that they can do that. Oh my god, wait, is the cake done? Oh no! Oh no, does someone eat the cake? Oh my god, I swear, if anyone touches that cake, a gauge is coming after us. He's not going after the cake. Reset? Okay, it's good, it's good. Let's add birthday candles. I don't care about whatever you're trying to do with me. I want to add birthday candles to this cake. Ah. There we go. Woohoo! Woohoo! Let's put it on the cake table. Okay. Center it nice and there we go. Okay, so. Um, oh, Jackie is back. Audition passed! Yes! We aren't well, aren't you surprised, Jackie? I mean, we've had all our actors pass auditions before. It just usually requires a bit more of a bribe to the casting director. Keep this up. Pure bribes may actually put us in black, black this year. All right. She passed her audition. Fantastic. All right. So um, everyone needs to go over here. Except for the birthday sim. So... Kat, or Koi, I'm going to have you go second since you're the actual heir. Kelly, go here. And everyone else go over here. I'm just trying to get people out of the way so it's not too much of a hassle. Like trying to get a picture without a bunch of people in it. Okay, and Kelly, I'm going to have you... Blow out the candles. Now we do use random um, traits in this Let's Play. So I use James Turner's uh, tr trait generator. I just find it's the easiest one. I used to use another one, but then like that website got shut down. So James Turner's is just the easiest because I can select which packs I have and which packs I don't have. Um, is where is Kelly? And where is Koi? Okay, Koi's coming. Where is he? How far is he? Okay, he's he's almost there. 
Mary Kelly is your time to shine. All right, here we go. She is aging up. I love how, how mom is just on the computer in the background not even caring. I think she's getting off though. <laughs> All right, and I will quickly select for her to add more birthday candles after she ages up. Yay, now mom's celebrating, okay. So she's going over here. Huh. And let's see, we need to randomize the last trait. Like I said, I'm using James Turner ram Randomizer. And let's generate. Um, let's see. And it gave me... Good. Okay. Um, simple trait, but good is still good. So she is proper, a child of the islands, and good. I would have liked her, her trade to be active just because she enjoys working out so much. But, hey, you get what you get. Honestly, you get what you get. Alright, please put candles on the cake. Fantastic. Okay. Everyone surround it. Koi is your moment to shine. Um, Come. Blow out the candles. Kelly, I would like you to walk away from the candles. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Koi's coming up. And you going in that direction. Uh, of course, he's going to go in the direction where I'm going to get all the, <laughs> the adults in the picture. Alright. Let's see if I can get a picture with as few adults as possible. Hey, honestly, I think that's the best I can do. But he is aging up! Our heir is aging into a teen! Which is big because we get to find out a second trait and his new aspiration. So, let's, let's age up, buddy! Live a buddy! And then we get to go give him a makeover. I am super excited about that. All right. All right, so he is evil. Let's see what else he gets. One, two, three, generate. Oh my, I have to be kidding me. He got kleptomaniac and a self-care specialist. But kleptomaniac and he's evil? Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Well, this is our era, you guys. Um... How, where, where is self-care specialist? There it is. What is this? A that wants to make it big with mentoring wellness activities like offering a massage or attending massage tables at spa. That's what you want to do? Really? really? I don't know if we're going to do that or not. Oh, I love that he kept the little dreaded hair. No, that's cute. I might, I might make it a funky color. But I don't know if they have pink or not. Okay, but I need to give him a makeover, so let's go do that. Alright, here we are with Koi's makeover, the heir of the next generation. And he is flaming, baby. Um, I decided to keep the same hairstyle because I like the dreads on it, but make him blonde because it had the hot pink swatch. But I still kept his dark eyebrows. So, he has natural eyebrows, but his hair is very dyed. So we're just going to say he dyes his hair all the way, so he looks like a blonde. But mainly just because he has the pink hair. This is our air cl close up and personal. Luckily, he didn't get Brock's eyes. They are kind of small, but they're not as small as Brock's. So, <laughs> that was my only hope. But his favorite color is pink and gray, so I kind of went with that. So he has three every day's looks. Here's his first one, his second one, and his third one. Um, I've come with the conclusion that he likes floral prints. Even though he's evil and, and a uh, club to me, I, I feel like he would dress as if he wasn't to Leon, especially since he wants to care about um, self-care specialists so he, he has to make himself look presentable even though he's actually evil and uh, klepto but he also does have pink nails because uh, 
because we want him, he wants to be into that stuff. So I gave him nails because of his aspiration. But anyways, we were looking through outfits. So this, this is every day. Here is his formal. They had a nice pink tux um, with silver shoes. We have his athletic wear. It's cute. Um, his sleepwear, we have two options. We have this uh, regular pajama combo or the robe he's rocked since he was a toddler. Uh, we have his party wear, which is a bit different. It has floral pants and this nice blouse, dark pink. It's a hot pink. We do a lot of hot pink. Um, here is his swimwear. His hot weather wear. And, of course, his cold weather wear. And, he, yes, he has a cat hat. But that is it for our next Air Koi. That's his teenager makeover. So let's get back to the party. All right, we're back to the party. And apparently someone already took a piece of cake. So, um, it was Daisy, wasn't it? Yep. Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. It's not your birthday. <laughs> hey, let's, um, call it a meal. Let's make sure Kelly gets one, too. Oops. Take a piece. That cancel? Yeah, I totally did. Okay. And call to me all. Okay, everyone get some cake. Pink just for the birthday boy. Look at him in those floral pants. Oh my goodness. Okay, Kelly is coming to get one, right? Where is she? Oh, she came from downstairs. Like, jeez. Okay. So... Everyone grab a piece. Both the birthday sims got a piece. That's what's important to me. May I get a picture a picture of them with their cake? The two birthday sims. Oh my god, that head glitched the uh, It's still moving. Why are you still moving? That's so creepy. Oh my god, please stop. Please stop. I need them to fix that glitch, you guys. I need them to fix that glitch. It is way too creepy. Way too creepy. Alright. Oh, the pregnant girl didn't get any cake. That's sad. That's sad. But, um, let's see. How, how much longer until Jackie's in her third trimester? It should be next episode, right? That we, we give birth? Yeah, third trimester in three hours. Alright. But, um... I think everyone got cake. Well, not everyone got cake, but all the cake is gone. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end this birthday party early. Because I kind of want to go to the vet with Brock and just keep care. Uh, or uh, be open for a few hours to see how the new employees go. So I think we're going to do that. Alright, we're at the vet clinic. We're currently closed. Um, before, well, no, I'll go ahead and open because I want to give our new member Zara some training. So let's go ahead and automatically manage, pay for training. We'll do some brief training on her. Where's the other employee? Manage employees. We have two employees, right? Yeah, Alonzo. Where's, there's Alonzo. And so we already gave him some training, but he was really bad, so I want to go ahead and pay for some more training. Great, just what I want, a chance to go class my outfit. I feel like that's sarcasm, but um, I'm going to need you to do, do that. And let's fill all bowls as well. Now, I want to see how well these sims keep care of the, the people, the animals on their own. Let's see. So, Sonia and Barry. Okay. Because I want, I want hopefully for them to take care of the customers. Because I want to work on vet treats. So, it's um craft treats. We haven't done the cinnamon chew yet. Or... 
be cooler than the clean nitro bars. I just want to put something out in our fridge. Work on his vet skill a little bit. Let's see. Is anyone keeping care of the animals? Both of you are right here. But she's still signing in, so. Oh, Autumn's here. Y'all better keep care of Autumn's pet. I swear. Is the Azara going ahead and taking a patient? We're getting a phone call from Wendy. Um, hey Brock, the fourth doctor is pretty cute. Should I ask him out? Weren't you just dating someone else? No, I don't think he's a good fit for you. I'm sorry. And no, of course, Zara is just going and staring at the poster. Alonzo, are you going to keep care of any of these patients? Oh my god, I swear. We have three patients and none of them are being taken care of. But we did just sell a vet treat. So they really do just go up there and, and buy them. Oh my god, Chelsea's here. Chelsea, oh. Okay, um... It takes so long to craft a treat. Oh good, Alonzo's keeping care of someone. Yes, thank you, Alonzo. Now what about Zara? Let's see. Zara, I need you to keep care of someone. Okay, we did we did craft a treat though. So I will put that in there. And hopefully it sells. Zara is not keeping care of the pets on their own. The least she can do is clean. Let's, um, manage her. And let's, uh, check up on. Let's see, is she taking him now? Oh, no. Of course she's not. Uh, I think Ava's been here the longest. So I will, after I check on Zara, I will greet that patient. Or no. Okay, good. Never mind. Zara is taking the patient. And we just sold the vet treat we literally just made. Oh, man. Okay. We'll put another one in there. And let's come get Chelsea. Chelsea was actually my first dog. And I made her and put her in the game. This is my husband. And we live with all our pets, including the pets that have died. So this is one of my pets that have passed away. She passed away, um... She got really old and she didn't pee anymore and the pee overflowed her system. But she was like the family dog. So I'm really happy to see her because I miss her a lot. Okay. I've never seen Chelsea act like this before. I hope it would just go away, but it's only gotten worse. Please see what you can do. Alright. So let's see what we can do. Brock, let's go ahead and begin examining Chelsea. I've never actually gone in this room before. I know we've only played in this vet's office like once, but we waited at the exact opposite end. All right. All right, she's already stressed. So let's go ahead and calm the patient. Oh, I gotta get a picture of Chelsea. I gotta get a picture of Chelsea, even though she's so scared and so sad, but it's okay. It's okay, Chelsea. We're going to make you all better. And we will check the chart after we calm her down. Um, let's... And maybe we can examine mouth because she's foaming from the mouth. She doesn't seem so stressed out anymore. Uh, she's been barfing. Okay. Let's, um... Alright, let's calm her down. She's starting to get stressed out again. She has a high temperature. And let's, um... So let's... Well, we already know she has a high temperature, so I don't think taking your temperature would help. Maybe we'll listen to breathing. Because she is panting a lot. Yeah, Gage isn't too happy with us, but you know what? We're married to your great, great, great grandchild. <laughs> so I don't really care. We're family. All right. And we have the die results. She has swamp mouth. So let's treatment. And do that one. And give her the right thing so we can build the owner. 
Yeah, there you go. And we just reached level 4 of the veterinary skill. Brock can now administer feel-good spectrum as a treatment on the exam table. He can also now craft skinkalore at the medicine crafting table. Last but not least, he also unlocked a cute pet themed wall decal. Alright, so let's go ahead and bill the owner. Let's see, how much did we make off of that one? Um, I don't know how much we made, I didn't see that. Oh well. Let's, um, my pet was pretty calm. Okay, we'll dismiss the patient and then I'm going to do some mopping. Because this place is nasty. But Chelsea's all better. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Okay. But we're we're mopping. Is there any patients waiting? We have Fox a fox. I wanna get that one. Okay, let's um greet the patient after we get done mopping. Lonzo's mopping out here, so that's good for me. Oh, this is one of my one hundred baby kids, Victor. This is Victor. Oh, oh, they're upset there's no treats. Mmm. Alright, alright. Well, I want to greet the patient. Not mop. Hey, go to greet the patient. This will probably be the last patient we do. Um, is that Rory Williams? What kind of pet does Rory have? I don't know. But says Majora just hasn't been acting like herself. I think it's something may be wrong. Can you please take a look? Of course we can. I'm going to come back into this room because I like this room a little bit better. Just because it's right near the patient so I can keep an eye on everything. Oh, uh, someone just puked. Alright. We're doing a fox, you guys. That's so cool. Wait, why are you getting off? Why are you getting off? Well, it says it's about to start again, so... So confused. Come back on the, the the machine, Majora. This was a glitch I had last time. It kept like glitching out. Hope it doesn't do that again. Come on. And stay on the machine. Ooh, Zara's pissed. I don't know what went wrong, but she is not happy. Okay, let's check the chart. She also has swamp mouth. Yeah, I'm just going to do the same things I did last time. Examine mouth. Alonzo, neither of you guys are keeping care of patients. I don't appreciate that. There's a patient, right? Oh, I guess he's only checking in now. Who is that? Oh, it was a void critter. One. Open. He just threw up on the floor. Okay, let's, um... Take his temperature. Oh no, he has high temperature. Never mind. Never mind. We already we already know his temperature. Let's um, it's the same thing. What did I choose last time again? Breathing, I think. Um, uh, he's gonna take temperature, no matter what, because I clicked it. He's not gonna stop. Um, what? This is the same thing that happened last time. I got the cure and it keeps glitching out. Let's procedure already in process. Can we begin procedure, please? Get back on the table. All right. Okay, we know the sickness. Let's treatment given the placebo. As you have swamp mouth too. Everyone has swamp mouth today. Okay, at least Zara is clean. Oh, well, she was clean and then she just didn't clean it. Great. We cured the sickness. Let's, um, before I forget, build the owner. Oh, she just got attacked by an animal. Yeah, I would be pissed too, Zara. I'm sorry. Alright, we just build, examine patient. Let's go to potty. 
I'm gonna go ahead and close up here. After, well, I'm gonna wait till Alonzo gets some mopping. Yeah, we really gotta go potty. Zara is examining Clover. Oh, oh, it's Olivia. This is my other pinks, hot pink sim I've had before. She has the hot pink hair as well. Yeah. All right. So I think I'm going to fill this bowl real quick and let Zara finish the examination. That'd be great. Um, I'm just gonna let her finish this one, and if there's another one that starts in progress, oh well. I just want to get this money real quick. Let's see. Cause I love Zara. She's doing so much better than Alonzo on her first day. I think I'm going to give her a raise. Manage. Oh no. Let's let her get the training in first. Maybe Alonzo's doing somewhat better today. So let's praise him. I don't. I don't want to give him. Oh, he's taking care of a patient. It's not gonna. It's not gonna. It's not gonna let me praise him while he's get, doing that. That's annoying. That's annoying. Okay, so are, are you done? Are you done? Cause uh, let's see. Okay, taking his temperature. I'm just checking for any more messes real quick. So I want the place to be clean. Okay, Zara, I'm sorry, you're taking forever. I'm closing on you. It's 9.30. It is 9.30. But we made profit $736 today and made up to two stars. That's pretty good. Growth opportunity and excellent is wait time. Fantastic. But we actually um, got some perk points. So we definitely want to invest in another bet, and that's all we can do. <laughs> that's all we can do. So we're going to manage. They're going to training. Alonzo's doing great. I might actually, is he still here, or did he already leave? Did he already leave? You know what? You did great today, Alonzo. Uh, oh, wait. It's not going to let me do anything because so we're closed. Well, it won't let me do anything. It's getting very patient. It won't let me do anything if we're closed. Good Lord. Okay. Well, let's find another patient or another or uh, employee. The only one that has higher stats is, is Evan. Evan, I'm, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm going to pronounce it. He has really good charisma, so we're going to hire him. And he starts tomorrow. Oh, I can do promote. Oh, yeah, I can promote him. Okay. Well, let's um, promote him to level two. Let's see if we can do that. Um, are you still examining even though we're closed? We're closed. Let that poor pet go. Let the poor pet go. She's meowing. She's like, my mom left me. Help. Oh, no. Oh, no. I need to get my sons to bed. It's 10 o'clock at night. I'm going to end the episode even though... He's glitching out. Hold on, let me reset him, maybe? Reset. Employees. Let's promote. Let's see if we can do it real quick. There we go. And I also can't... I can't praise her. Well, that doesn't help me. There you go, you got a promotion! Woohoo! Alright. Alright. Great job. So that is the end of the episode, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and do all that awesome stuff because you guys are awesome people. I'll see you next time. Alright. Bye!